The goal of our work is to embed a real-world image into pre-trained GAN and then reconstruct it. And then if we edit the latent code, we can generate the edited images. We perform smell and age editing here. In GAN inversion, the first stage is image embedding. We use encoder-based or optimization-based methods to get latent code of given images. Science latent code has much lower dimensions than images. It cannot faithfully reconstruct them. So many recent works explore the incorporation of additional high-rate information, including generator weight as left part and the intermediate feature as right part. However, they meet challenges in fidelity and editability trade-off. For weight modulation, complex image will make weight manifolds deviate from pre-trained GAN, which degrades editing performance. For feature modulation methods, they fix the intermediate feature distribution at one of the layers. The effects of edit vectors apply to previous layers cannot edit the features of the later layers. We use PTI to show the challenge. It performs well on easy samples, but for hard samples, although inversion results are faithful, the editing results are much worse. Based on the above analysis, this modulation gains better editing capability but is easily affected by complex image areas, while feature modulation has better reconstruction ability. So we explore the idea of divide and conquer and use both of them to improve GAN inversion. Here's the pipeline of our method. The image embedding module aims to embed images into latent codes, which we use an off-the-shelf encoder like E4E to predict latent codes. And then we propose a domain-specific segmentation to predict a binary mask to distinguish in-domain and out-of-domain areas. In-domain refers to areas that have a similar distribution to the generator's output space, which makes them easy to invert. Instead, out-of-domain areas misalign with output space, making them challenging to invert. In hybrid modulation refinement, Weight modulation is employed to refine in-domain areas and restore image details for both inversion and editing results. Conversely, for out-of-domain parts, we use feature modulation to refine them spatially and fix feature distribution during editing. To segment in-domain and out-of-domain areas, training an end-to-end learning-based domain segmentation model requires a large and annotated data set, which can be costly. We design an automatic segmentation pipeline from the perspectives of partition and binarizing. We first utilize a superpixel algorithm to partition the input image into multiple areas and employ course optimization to distinguish in-domain and out-of-domain. To improve performance, we use additional phase parsing model and manually select several categories like background and areas as out-of-domain areas and combine them. For hybrid modulation refine module, we refine in-domain areas and out-of-domain areas by weight and feature modulation respectively. Black lines indicate forward flows and red arrows represent gradient flow. Here's the comparisons with PTI, HFGI, and SAM. Although their inversion results are reasonable, editing capability degradation like decoration and occlusion blur occurs. One main concern of optimization-based method is time-consuming. Previous methods like PTI and SAM cost more than one minute per image, which is hardly applied in practice. Or DHR costs only 7 seconds to achieve SOTA results and 13 seconds under or default settings. SAM also proposed a learnable invertibility predictor to predict mask. We compare our proposed domain-specific segmentation to it and show the difference. Our method can better segment the decoration occlusions, which is important for refinement. We show more results with different editing directions. All results are natural and faithful. 